guys, it's your girl Brittany and I'm back with another video, video, video. Make sure you like. I'm trying to hide my nails. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, all that. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Y'all know how I give it up and get down. As y'all see the title, we are back with another baddies review on episode 17. Yeah, I got to write this time. And y'all know the lie. This episode made me kind of sad, you know? But we'll get into it. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. So this episode started where it had left off. And that's with Callie versus Jellybean. And um, y'all know why. Maybe because after the beach fight, I expected Callie to be kind of more, you know, quick to fight. Because she was quick to fight Jellybean, you know, on the beach. But questioning that now it's like shit the only time the girl want to fight is if somebody say something about Gretchen it's like you can be you can come at her all she want but once Gretchen get involved it's like whoa 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 don't talk about my friend but I guess <laughs> defend your friend I guess you know but yeah it started where it left off she's going back and forth with jelly bean it's like it seemed like jelly bean it was space and opportunity to run up but it's like you know, Kelly really wasn't doing it. But something I did see, it seemed like when Jelly Bean kind of turned her back a little bit to kind of twerk for her, Kelly ran up. And then when she turned around, Kelly kind of stopped. And it's just like, not you only in the interest of jumping people. Because I remember she did that with Jayla too. I mean, not jumping people, not you in the interest of sneaking people. So it's just like, yeah, I'm kind of womp, womp, womp about Kelly. Like, that's kind of weird to me yeah then afterwards cali i mean jayla's just like you know y'all sit down you know she's just like you know cali's been you know talking and doing stuff all night and blah 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 and you know cali's just like you know basically you know y'all shut up you know she they're going back and forth but for some reason cali i mean jayla it's just like she beat both Gretchen's ass and Callie's ass. I can see why she say she beat up gretchen but for her to say she beat up cali off of that one punch it's just like you didn't but if you want to say that but you know to like whatever so yeah Jayla's just like you know she beat both of them up so they can be quiet and it's like Jayla honestly walks towards Callie but Callie was about to throw a water bottle at her so you know whatever that punch did to Callie I guess you can say she beat her ass because you know Callie seemed like she don't want no smoke with Jayla and that's kind of like but then, yeah, Natalie's just like, whoa, 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 wrap it up. And it's like, they kind of simmer down. And then Nunu says something to Anna again, and it's about her BD. And it's just like, girl, you're proving our point again that you, this is all the only thing you have to offer. And the thing is, I hate, well, she said that production told them to bring this up for a storyline. And I was just like, I hate that this is her argument you know because it's like it just makes no sense it went from the mom to her bd and now it's just like and honest just like girl i do not want your bd because it's just like yeah girl like like no no what are you talking about like yeah Nunu is sitting here bringing up her BD and Anna's just like girl we do not want your BD and Anna's just like you know what you're not gonna use me to get into the house and blah 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 and as they're walking out you know Anna's still kind of heated and she goes to Mariah and just like ain't that your friend ain't that your friend <laughs> yeah she's just like girl you know this is not your friend you don't know her like basically yeah you don't know her enough to the point where she should even be speaking on us and Mariah's just like, you know, I've been, they've been here. I've been getting to know the replacements and blah, blah, blah. I didn't know she was going to do that. But if anything happens, you know, I got you. And honestly, though, I agree with Anna, though. And honestly, yeah, it's just like, girl, you do not even know this girl. And then on top of that, why does either Nunu's really unhinged or you gave her the impression that she could talk about our situation even though i'm guessing everybody did but it's just like yeah what were you telling her to the point where she even thinks that she can approach me about this and then on top of that i honestly find it kind of weird that mariah didn't jump in for the situation because it's just like not like this is just an honor thing this has something to do with both of you guys mariah she didn't have to get you know rowdy with it she could have just been like yo 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 especially if she says nunu was her friend or whatever she could have been like yeah you know homegirl chill you know me and her we hashed it out that's my friend you know just leave it alone so yeah 
Anna still outside and Nunu's in the camera. She's just like, oh my baby Zed, I will fight you. I'm gonna beat you up. And it's just like, I, I wanted to like Nunu for real, but it's not likable. Yeah, it's just, it really is, like she said, it really is giving, you use this for a storyline and you bring your BD up every five seconds. It's just like on your baby Zad, you gonna, you gonna beat somebody up. Girl, like Anna said, don't nobody care about him, but you apparently like, we're flex, but okay. <laughs> Anna, cause Anna's outside and she's just like, yo, I'm not about to get snuck. You know, my face is messed up. If this girl want to fight me, she could fight me right now. But she's telling that to security. But I'm, you know, but Nunu's in the car. So that's irrelevant. And security wasn't going to let that happen. So yeah, that was that. That was that. Next, um, Callie and Gretchen talk. And basically, you know, their conversation was nothing. They just do Gretchen's outro. And honestly, Gretchen leaving, it's just like, she was just like, she feel like um, nobody was able to see her personality. And it's just like, I feel like we kind of saw her personality. We saw that she was a hothead that said the N word, you know, like, is that like, that look like that's you babes. <laughs> no, on a serious note, um, Gretchen leaving the house like I said her leaving the house has no impact it's already like she left the house and the only thing she brought was you know her saying the n-word and then leaving them fighting her for it and leaving so it's just like she said she'll come back for another season am I interested in seeing Gretchen again do I feel like she deserves a redemption it's just like she said she should have listened more but it's just like yeah you should have listened more but did you retain the information that you listen? No, because she says she ain't never going to change. So it's just like, girl, that means you showed us what you wanted us to see. Right? So, girl, bye. Uh, no lie. This scene kind of took me for a little bit of emotion. I don't know if it was because of the sad music in the background or I really thought it was sad. But this is just about to me my raw personal opinion on the size of the argument. So, yeah. And, you know, I had to take notes on this, too. I don't have every single thing, but, you know, it was certain things that stuck out to me that I was just like, okay, like, so, yeah, Scotty and Tinkerbell are walking, and, you know, Biggie and Meatball come and join them, and honestly, you can tell from the get-go that there's some type of tension between Tinkerbell and Meatball. Ooh, y'all, I'm sorry. My AC just came on. But yeah, you can tell from the beginning that there's some type of tension between Meatball and um, Tinkerbell because it just seemed like they're kind of talking around each other because at first, you know, Biggie was going downstairs because she wanted to see what's tea because, you know, homegirl was sick and I'm guessing DTV didn't call her to tell her what was going on because she said she wanted to hear it from all sides. So yeah, she's downstairs and I mean not she's downstairs they're all talking but you know it seems like they're all talking around each other so they're letting Biggie know what was going on yeah they're letting Biggie know what was going on then out of nowhere Tinkerbell is just like yeah you know what listen blah blah and she starts to ask the question because I don't even think she got the full question out and I and after she just says you know what listen she gotta ask something and she's talking to Meatball Meatball's just like oh you know what F this F this I don't care 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 man and then she just starts to walk off and honestly I, her walking off I don't know why that triggered her so much like because she didn't even get the question out that was my thing so that's why I don't know why it triggered her so much I get not wanting to have your business on camera but a you're on a tv show so your business is going to be on camera regardless and then b it's just like the girl didn't even get a question out so it's just like me seeing that i hate, I hate to you know get too deep into it it's just like it just shows me the the you know immaturity and then it also shows me my personal opinion that it's like meatball kind of feels kind of guilty about something like she kind of know like you know some of the tension is kind of her or maybe she feel like girl how you caught my tea and you know i'm hating because it's just like it seems like all of, oh i'm gonna get to that i'm gonna get to that but yeah Tinkerbell didn't even get to the question and Meatball just walked off and it just like it just made me feel like she was kind of feeling kind of guilty about something where she didn't kind of want to address it but so 
after that, after Meatball is walking off, Tinkerbell is just basically saying like, oh, okay, don't do this for the camera and for your friends and blah, blah, blah. And Meatball is basically, you know, rebuttaling that saying, oh, well, you let these friends, you know, get in your head. And Meatball and Tinkerbell brings up something about protecting her, like, you know, she protected her. And that hella triggers Meatball because she's just like, baby, how you saying you protected me in my own city? And Tinkerbell's just like, I protected her mentally, physically, and blah, blah, blah. And honestly, their conversation just got real heated. It just got real personal. And Tinkerbell cools off and she talks to um, Scotty and meatball goes off and she talks to biggie and when meatball's talking to biggie she's saying that she's upset that tinkerbell decided to do this now and talk about it on camera and that she doesn't like the fact that it's on camera that she would have i guess appreciated it more if it would have been sister to sister as she said to have a conversation but tinkerbell is talking to scotty and she's just basically saying that she's just hurt off of some of the things that meatball has done to her she feels like that you know um she's protected her she feels like meatball doesn't have her back she feels like meatball's not happy for her and she does bring up the chain thing and blah 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 and it's like after after they separate they come back again and their conversation gets real heated again and meatball kind of and tinkerbell says something about like yeah her lack of support and meatball says something like you know how am i gonna support somebody that don't got it and and tinkerbell was like like okay like girl what are you trying to say i don't got it and tinkerbell flips the table and she's upset and you know they're going back and forth and you know they're honestly bringing up a lot of personal situations that they've done to one another and as they're bringing that up when they sit here and said they've been through a lot of stuff i believe that because it's just like i don't even understand how their friendship kind of survived throughout the stuff they were seeing they were saying meatball was bringing up how you know um she feels like tinkerbell kind of put other people before her and honestly i can see that because of the fact that when tinkerbell first got here i didn't even know that they were sisters or whatever because tinkerbell was always with you know dia and slim so but at the same time it's just like know i can understand the jealousy part of it but it's just like your friend can have other friends but i'm guessing meatball feels like tinkerbell is putting these friends on but she's not putting her on i guess and tinkerbell is in here saying that she let meatball disrespect her plenty of times she said that meatball mentions her daughter and she had to write a diss track on meatball and meatball's just like i said i'm sorry bitch sorry you talked about my daughter and i had to write a diss track on you and that's your response sorry meatballs and tinkerbell's also saying about something about them getting jumped in miami meatballs talking about her leaving her somewhere and it's just like them saying all this it's just like whoa how did y'all eat how did this friendship sistership even last this long like what is really going on between you guys and y'all know why my personal opinion it does kind of seem like Meatball is kind of salty about whatever Tinkerbell has going on, which is kind of weird because it's like Tinkerbell, I mean, Meatball seemed like she had a name, a bigger name than Tinkerbell going on this show. And it seemed like she had a name. Yeah, she had a name. She had more followers and blah, blah, blah. So it's like, are you saying you don't want your friend to surpass you? Because no lie, um, I've heard of Meatball, but I didn't know her. I didn't follow her, but I never heard of Tinkerbell until this show. I don't know if y'all have, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just like, yeah, it's just like, are you saying you don't want your friend to surpass you? You know, because her getting a baddie's chain and you don't, because it's just like, girl, I seen her have chains that say MB on it. So it's like, you can't be jealous that she got a chain and you don't. You just want that baddie's chain and you didn't want her to get it before you. Because even her and her rent, she's saying like, or maybe she expected, it did It also seem like she expected certain things from Tinkerbell. Because she's saying like, oh, you flew these friends out and you didn't do it for me. But at the same time, 
I see it from that side, but I also see it from the side as just like, you know, where do we kind of stand? I'm your friend, but you stay doing this for so and so and talking to so and so, but you don't ever talk to me. But I also heard me, I mean, Tinkerbell saying the argument like, yo, you're sitting here confiding in Biggie and talking to Biggie, but you don't do it in me. And it's just like, it just seems like it's a lot of confusion, lack of communication, jealousy going on in this friendship and yeah it's better that they separate after their little argument and rants tinkerbell points <laughs> um meatball's face in the camera and was just like this is gonna be the last time you disrespect me in front of my daughter kisses her on the cheek and was just like i love you but i can't do it anymore and meatball seemed like she was kind of shook like she was kind of upset and they both seemed like they were kind of hurt because afterwards tinkerbell goes off and cry and she's just like get the cameras out of my face and meatball she's with biggie and she's just like she's ready for a real friend but she seems kind of emotional about it and it's just like yeah it just seemed like they need some time apart like i said it just seemed like it's just a lot of confusion envy going on here in yeah it's just better if they spend some time apart because no lie i find it kind of weird on meatball side about kind of the stuff like i kind of see it both ways but no lie i'm seeing it kind of more weird on meatball afterwards um you know things kind of cool down and blah 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 and then nunu and big kiva come into the house without jelly bean and apparently jelly bean left because it seems like this house is triggering her ptsd she said in her confessional that this house is drama filled and you know she likes to have fun but it's like they're playing her flashbacks back and it's like we see her fighting and it's just like I can see if she was one of the girls on this show that just you know she never said anything and she was in the back never said anything never did anything and yeah then I'll be like okay I see why this is kind of triggering because she just watching people fight but it's just like you just got into a fight with Callie two days before you instantly Gated the fight with Callie on the beach and it's just like, like people were just picking at her picking at her well no nah, no nah, because the city was picking at her but it's just like girl and my thing about this whole triggering PTSD thing is you're leaving now when y'all you had time to think about this this whole time that you were in the replacement house not doing anything you knew what this show was you had your taste of the drama because you started some and now you want to leave And it's like, shit, the beach fight was more triggering than Callie fake running up on you, her dancing around with you. So it's just like, yeah, girl, sis, why did you really go home? But let me not start anything, y'all. Let me not start anything. Yeah, so Nunu and um, Big Kiva come in and honestly, instantly, Nunu and Anna, they're going back and forth, going back and forth. And yeah, they... Honestly, y'all, the whole time, they were going back and forth for like 50 and a half hours. And then finally, you know, it seems like, you know, Anna can't fight because of her face. But for some reason, DTB got in the field for her to fight Nunu. And let me just say something about this. I know Biggie can't fight. So setting Biggie up for failure is kind of like, yeah, let me not do that. But... If Biggie would have got in for her, I would have been like, no lie, I would have been like, why did Biggie do that? But I would have understood because that's her cousin. To Siki being her friend and somebody that can fight, I'm confused on why Tasiki didn't want to fight for her. I get it. Tasiki says she's not a bully. She doesn't have beef, but it's just like, I'm looking at the principal side of it, no lie, because it honestly seems like because if we if we want to be honest Tasiki didn't even fight for her own sister okay so no lie is Tasiki a Tasiki type of girl like you know if it's not about me I don't want anything to do with it type of thing because it's you know like that's what it kind of gives because if my friend's face were fractured and no lie I have no issue with the girl but she's arguing with my friend it's like no lie I don't got no issue with you but now I gotta fight you because you know my friend's face is fractured so you know no hard feelings girl but you know we gotta fight but yeah Tasiki on the other hand it seemed like Tasiki's a Tasiki type of person and it's like even though she got hands and she eats and she can beat everybody's ass it's just like I really do feel like her f and then it's like 
feel like her friends f with her so much and they like her so much to the point where it's just like i'm surprised she's not doing it but then it's just like on top of that she probably taking advantage of the fact that she know these girls like her so much and that they want to be her friend to the point where it's just like yeah i don't want to fight yeah i don't know but i find it kind of weird that she didn't fight for her no lie because it's just like it did on top of that i know T dtb has been getting close with them so it's just like eh, but it's just like it should have been someone that was actually her og friends no lie but no lie Anna's confessional hair this red is eating i like it better than the um the, the the brown the ginger she had you know I, I, li I like the confessional hair and I said this in the last video no lie I like Asian doll and this little unicorn confessional hair that she has going on too and no lie Natalie she been looking good recently you know like I feel like one thing I can say the looks have been eating DTB and her little fro has been cute I feel like Scotty, she looks good. I feel like Scotty always looks good, but I feel like a lot of the girls, they've been, this cast isn't, not saying that all the rest of the cast were, but the looks are eating. I like that. I like that. As DTB comes in and, you know, she fights for Anna. She fights Nunu for Anna. And no lie, she was kind of getting Nunu. Nunu was doing all that blah 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 but you know dtb kind of got her ass they did their first round and no lie dtb kind of got her but then after that dtb she turns her head from her opponent and her opponent knocked her on her ass and after that biggie them jumped in because biggie was just like oh no why you gonna jump this girl and no lie like i said principle loyalty and i see tzatziki in nowhere she's clapping you know slippers or something i was just like what is she doing like y'all was confused no lie and then afterwards um dtb and nunu they fight again then nunu was sitting here talking about her fingers hurt and she turns away and dtb was like okay you want to sneak me she sneaks her ass back so it's just like my thing is girl nunu why you turn your what how you know how they say do a him on him girl how you let her do a you on you baby girl uh, how you let that happen uh, but yeah so after that kiva jumps in because it's just like oh no y'all not about to jump my replacement sis so kiva gets in and her and dtv score up and y'all in the background of this fight i hear anna sitting here telling biggie basically to jump in the fight i'm glad biggie didn't jump in the fight to jump kiva because it's just like yeah let them handle it one-on-one -on -one type thing so yeah i'm glad biggie didn't jump in and then on top of that it seemed like dtb ended up on top of kiva and was hitting her and then it seemed like anna jumped in and then it said next on but yeah y'all this episode took me for emotions i feel like it's unfortunate that you know like tinkerbell said her and meatball came in together and they're not leaving together i find it weird that nunu created this storyline it's like girl you could at least wait it till you got in a house to find something that you didn't like about somebody and make that up but it's just like you see here bringing up some drama that had nothing to do with you to use that to fight somebody else and bringing your bd's name into it when no nobody want him for a storyline it's like it doesn't make sense and then on top of that you just fight about it and you get beat up for it yikes and then yeah like meatball and tinkerbell like unfortunate unfortunate but yeah next it seemed like bianca's coming back and it's like i really thought we closed that chapter in the book but it seemed like she's gonna get beat up by jayla so it's like okay let's see what that's gonna be about so yeah y'all when i see it I hope y'all see it. Y'all come back here next week to help me talk about it. So until then, just make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, all that. Don't, don't play with it. Don't be this size. Hey, still not a